running? Okay. All right, so uh, we're gonna do a hand uh, mouth drill. And just for a quick explanation, this is a hand drill, right? This is a uh, 7 16 inch Cockleburr hand drill. And this would be no problem to spin using just me. Uh, with just a little bit of body weight and spinning it with my hands. But you have to notice the diameter. The diameter is thin enough where I can do that with my hands. Okay, there's, a, there's like a magical um, mean. There's a, there's a, there are certain diameters that have to stay within this size in order for you to pull this off as well as the the hardness is is very very soft enough for you to pull it off because the denser it is uh, the more pressure you would need but you don't need to do that with a plant stalk okay now this the other most common friction fire device is bodro and the spindle is usually like okay thickness right so Think for a minute the differences in the diameter between these two spindles. Okay. Now, in order to do bow drill, we need to put the string around a bow, uh, put the string around it with a bow, and spin this for the practical reason that it's so thick that you can't do this with your hands because you're not going to get enough speed and rotation. It's not going to turn. In fact, if you turn this, it'll turn once. And when you turn it back, it'll only turn once. Just because of the size of the diameter alone, right? Because this is a smaller diameter, we would get multiple rotations and it'll spin faster and more, right? So, so you have a hand drill and you have bow drill spindle, right? Size. So here's the thing with mouth drill. Think of all the times you've come across in your travels a branch that is this size. It's not, it's thicker than a hand drill, but thinner than a bow drill. Now you would look at a branch like, now this is obviously crooked and I'm not using this branch. I'm just using this for a demonstration for size. If you came across a branch of this size and it happened to either be straight or you can use uh, a straight section, okay, you can look at that and you can go, I can get away with that without a bow. Okay, I could probably spin that with my hands. All right, so Think of all the times in nature you will come across a branch, a dead branch of this size. I mean, you have to purposely seek out plant stalks that are really per almost perfect for hand drill. And it, it has to be at the right time of the year. And you have to find yourself branches that are straight and thick enough for bow drill. And you're gonna need five more devices to make this work. Okay, so it's almost like we're on two different extremes. But when you have something like this, you could think to yourself, oh, I could spin that, right? That's where the mouth drop comes in. Because the only thing you need, right, is one device. So the, the bow drill needs five or six pieces. But a mouth drill only needs one and it only needs a mouth brace, pressure mouth brace. So uh, I like to think that a mouth drill averages uh, a, over half an inch and about five eighths of an inch, okay? So again, consider all the branches you would come across uh, of this size that would be ready to go to make fire, okay? So, Again, we're going to do, um, this is uh, 
This set is made entirely of bamboo. This is a bamboo spindle with a bamboo collet um, and a bamboo reload. So this is a bamboo plug. And this is held in with uh, a little bit of hemp string. This is pine, uh, clear pine, has no knots. It's been used before, as you can see. And uh, just gonna do a quick demo of, if you come across a branch like that, you should consider uh, trying this method. So I like to use a paper towel for my pressure mouth brace, because it uh, keeps the drool off. <laughs> and it, it softens uh, the bite on the, on the teeth. So here we go. There's your mouth drill. It's that easy. It's that quick. So try not to pass out mouth drill as a device over the hand drill or the bow drill. You have to use what is as a method available to you. Okay? I hope that's proof.